हरे कृष्णा इवन इफ वी फेयर वेल इन लाइफ वी स्टिल हैव टू से फेयर वेल टू लाइफ मैनी पीपल थिंक ऑफ लाइफ इन टर्म्स ऑफ the success that they can achieve in this life and if they can become wealthy if they can become famous if they can become influential then they think that they have become successful in life they say they have fared well in life what such a vision often overlooks is that even if we fare well in life we still have to say fare well to life that actually we have everything here is temporary we are going to lose everything whatever we have achieved not even one broken piece of needle will be able to take with us and this is unstoppable inexorable now if we don't think about this then are we truly faring well in life is there something that we can carry with us beyond this life if there is nothing if there is nothing beyond this life and there is nothing that we can carry beyond this life then such an approach is all that we have to life but if we understand that at our core we are spiritual beings and as souls each one of us has our consciousness which we carry with us from this life to the next and if that consciousness is attached is attracted is devoted to the eternal then that that attraction elevates us to the eternal level of reality and the purpose of life is to live our temporary life in such a way that we can rise to eternal life in the hereafter we are souls and if we can develop our love for the whole for the eternal supreme reality krishna then we can attain his abode these two stark choices of what we attach ourselves to in this life the two stark choices are spoken by krishna in the bhagavad gita in 816 ah brahma bhuvana loka punaravartino arjuna maam upetya tu kaunteya punar janmana vidyate so ah brahma bhuvana loka even if one goes to the abode as high as those of the highest of the gods in this world where one can have great prosperity and longevity but still life is temporary over there punaravarti no one continues in the cycle of birth and death but if we become devoted to krishna then we can attain him beyond the cycle of birth and death so to say to truly fare well in life we need to recognize that we need that we have to become attracted to krishna then even we say farewell to this life we will actually not have to say farewell to krishna because he will be our he is our eternal companion and he will be our eternal destination we'll be united with him for a life of eternal love and eternal joy then that which is most dear to us we will never have to say farewell to life and the life where we don't ever have to say farewell uh, to that which is most dear to us that is the life in which we truly farewell thank you hare krishna